The question of what's the difference between gas welding and brazing? Well, these are two pieces of 1 8 inch steel. They're hot rolled steel, mild steel, and they have a mill scale on them, which is just a little coating that comes from the steel mill. Now to weld these two together with the gas welding, I'll use like this is a 332nd gas rod. It's copper colored, but that copper is just a coating on here, very thin coating. The rod itself is actually steel. It's called RG45. And some companies sell it as R45. But RG45 or R45 is a 332nd inch. I'll use that to gas weld these two pieces together. Here's two pieces of 1 8 inch material, exactly the same as this. I'm going to braise these together, and if you'll notice, I've ground down the edges to take this down to base metal. In brazing, you want your metal to be as clean as possible. For example, with this mill scale right here, if I tried to braise this without cleaning that mill scale off, it just wouldn't accept the bronze or it would put the bronze on there but it would just flick off. So it's important with any material to make sure that it's clean but brazing particularly grinding this down to its base metal. Okay, I'm heating this up until it gets molten. I'm just going to put a little bit of weld in there. The rod. I did the same thing on this other end. Now, if I didn't do that, when I started welding right here, as I moved up here, these two would expand out and I'd end up with a big gap right here. So, just tack welding it here keeps kind of a uniform gap in there. If you'll notice, I got my torch just a little bit of an angle, so it's preheating as I move along. Those sparks you see, little pieces of molten metal. Now, using a 332nd brazing rod, which has got some flux on it, I'm going to braze this together. I'm going to start out by tack brazing each end. Just floating the bronze in here. Now the bronze rod melts at a lower temperature. To braise, I don't need to get the base metal so that it's molten. Just get it red hot.
still got my torch just a little bit of an angle so I'm preheating this weld is going to be stronger than the braze but this braze is plenty strong especially for the type of work that I do it's also faster and I tend to use a lot more bronze in doing metal sculpture because I'm using it for effect not here particularly but when I do sculptures I'll want to melt some of this bronze around because it gives a good contrast especially you know, if I'm brazing copper but this is steel, mild steel so it was a gas weld and a braze so that is the difference between gas welding and brazing. Here's the braze joint once it's been cleaned up. And when I braze, I wear dark brazing glasses. And this is the gas weld using the gas filler rod. When I weld, I'll wear the welding goggles a little bit darker, a little bit darker lens enables me to see down into the weld. If your interest runs to technical descriptions of brazing and gas welding, I'd suggest doing a search on Wikipedia. They have some excellent technical descriptions of both of these subjects.